What is going on everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we're going to be trying our best to compare the brand new Cicada which comes in at 76 negative 1 1 to the Mantis which comes in at 84 negative 2 2. The Mantis is a touch faster but it also has a touch more turn and a touch more fade which should kind of balance out. The only unfortunate thing is is that we have Z Swirl I believe. This is the Ledgestone edition from one of the years and then we have the stock Z run. This is the first run, I guess, not stock run. We're just gonna play. This could be a dumb video. This could be a very good video. I don't know. Pull one here, 501 feet, par four that kind of goes off into that right side. Better to land left than right for sure. So I know the cicada kind of turns a little bit. We're gonna try to pump it out there on hyzer. We'll try to do the same with the mantis. <laughs> Yeah, sit down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't get the complete flip up like I thought I would. Oh yeah, that doesn't flip up at all. Very similar position though. Now I say it's better to be more on this left side because the gap opens up a little bit more. That being said, I would like to be a little bit closer to the gap than this. Oh, stand up. Uh. Just flips up a little bit too quickly for that forehand hyzer shot. I was fighting just the other day to try to get par on this and I ended up bogeying it. Fun fact, we got ESP zone in hand. Nice little turnover forehand. Yeah, that'll putt, that's fine. I kid you not, I just looked for this disc forever. The leaves falling is never fun. The weather feels nice. Looking for discs in the leaves, not fun. There we go. Cicada. I missed it. This next hole is gonna be pretty tough with these two discs. I'm gonna have to go backhand, which uh, it's not really the ideal shot for me on this hole. That being said, with the turn that I believe I can get out of the two discs, they could be really good for the hole if I throw the perfect line. You can kind of see the basket 400 feet down there. I'm gonna try to throw a turnover backhand through here and let it fade or drift right. We got Mantis first. Once again, not a shot that I love, but a shot we gotta throw. Oh, it's so stable. Wow, if that had any bit of turn, that would have been money. That's kind of what I was expecting to do on the first one. I'll be honest with you, what am I even supposed to do right here? Genuinely, I do not know. Oh, I hit the gap. I'm just trying to advance it. It takes a bad skip at the end, but the fact that I hit that gap is a miracle. The best thumber I've ever thrown in my life. Mantises for thumbers. Let's go. <sighs> Definitely did not make this video to show how these discs fly. I just wanted to show you how to get pars. That's it. I mean, you guys are never actually going to know, but from where I was, this thumber was so good. Like the fact that I have a look for birdie right now is insane. It's a long look, but I'll take it. <sighs> Turn a little, go. Hole three, we're gonna test out the short forehand game of the Cicada and Mantis. This is only 153 feet. Also, hopefully it puts us on track to do a little bit better than we have been because it hasn't been too pretty yet. We'll go Cicada first. Even at shorter distances, I feel like the Cicada flips up. Drop. See if we can knock down a putt here almost left it short and I would have been kind of angry with myself if I did. The Mantis I actually have a tough putt because this tree is going to be right in line which forces me to go straddle that I hate. <laughs> nice. I guess that it didn't matter today but straddle putts if you've been on the channel I'd say it a lot. <clears throat> I don't like them. Should I get better at them? Yes, of course. Do I practice them? No, never. This is kind of the same forehand shot here, just a little bit further, 213 feet this time. We'll go Mantis, see if we can ring one up. Great line. Got a subtle turn out of that. That could have been me out of the hand, but it kind of put a nice little touch to it where it didn't go too far and it faded out right toward the basket. Cicada next, kind of expecting a slight flip up. So I'm gonna put a little bit more hyzer than I normally do. At least I'm gonna try to. It flipped up. I just didn't get it wide enough. That was on me. It doesn't flip up all the way to flat, but I saw it kind of creep up. If I threw it on the same line as the Mantis, it would have been perfect. And for fun, let's ring it up with the zone. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was low-key close. Just based from my experience, not necessarily that throw, but I could have seen them putting the cicada at negative two, one. Let's be honest, flight numbers don't really matter, but I think it turns a little bit more than they like to say it does. <sighs> Bro, that is like the worst feeling when you think it's in the entire time and it's the clank off the cage. It's pathetic. <sighs> I'd like to know if you guys are bagging the cicada or the mantis, or if you've thrown both of them, let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments. Hole five, look alive, par three, 324 feet. We kind of have a bit of a headwind coming through this tunnel here, which is not ideal for the cicada. I'm very curious if the mantis can even hold up in it. We'll try to throw a hyzer flip out of the gap with the cicada. The mantis, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I might put on a little bit of hyzer. Oh, enough hyzer that it kind of stayed straight in road hyzer. I didn't throw it too terribly hard because I got a little bit scared that it'd turn over and roll, but stayed on that hyzer. <laughs> ah, too low. And that was turning. Even if that had the height, it was never coming back. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. A lot of you viewers are not subscribed. I don't know why, but you should. So hit the subscribe button. Hole six, 249 feet. This one tucks way back to the left. We're gonna try to go a little bit higher with these two discs and let them kind of hyzer, hopefully, into the gap. The cicada might have a problem going too long of the gap if it flips up. I'm not really getting any flip up out of the mantis, so I think it'll be fine if I put it on the right hyzer angle. <sighs> that is so far, and I lied so hard. I put it on so much hyzer and that could be great if it's not short. As an amateur, you kind of get used to calling your shots and then being completely wrong because you never know really where you're going to throw that disc. It's a tough life out here, guys. Yeah, so this is exactly where you don't want to be and this is exactly where I am. Let's go, baby. Good little putt there. Keeps the energy high. Cicada. Easy bird. Hole seven, 270 feet. Nice hyzer hole here. So start off on this right side and just let it hyzer into the basket. <laughs> that should be pretty good. Wow, that disc is so glidey, it's insane. I did not throw that very hard. Oh, I just put it on Anheuser. Well, there's the shot if you're looking for a slight Annie. The disc is gonna fly super nice. What the heck? I'll just have to take this easy cicada bird. I don't think we're gonna have to bother with the other one. Last hole here, 306 feet. I'm not even gonna say what I should do or what I think is going to happen because uh, I've been wrong a lot today. So we're going mantis first. Oh, there's some nice flip out of the mantis and that went really straight. Oh, I didn't throw that hard enough. Slightly nose up, too. Oh my goodness, I didn't think I was going to airball. I'll take a metal hit. Yeah, so we just skipped the cicada putt because it was a horrible shot and I wouldn't have made it. That's going to do it for this video. Mantis versus cicada. The mantis definitely flew a bit more stable than the cicada. Uh, I got it to flip up a couple of times. I don't know if that was due to the wind. Other than that, I felt like it kind of just stayed on the line that I put it on. You saw I put it on a little bit of Annie back there and it kind of just went dead straight. That's gonna do it. Let me know what you guys think of these two discs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.